hey Hannah, come on in. I'm just sitting in Obed's room for a second. I'm taking a little break between baths. Come here, sweetie. What's going on? Um, so a cold just started with me not too long ago, like uh, yesterday at four. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come um, here. Come here, sweetie. Let me feel your head. Here, bend over. You don't feel hot, but you feel like you have a cold? Yeah, like a throat cold or something. Oh, it's in your throat? And I started sneezing hysterically yesterday. You sound a little bit congested. Do you not feel well? Um, yeah, because my eyes started watering so bad. You want to take a day off? Sure. That is very unusual for you. I know. You really must not feel very good. I mean, I started sneezing hysterically and my eyes started watering. And I think you were thinking that maybe it was fall allergies. Yeah. And then it got a little worse. Yeah. Are you okay? You look like you're going to cry. Um, yeah. Can you please call my workplace? I will be happy to do that for you. And can't cancel Metro Access? Yes, honey. I'm sorry you don't feel good. Yeah, because yesterday I went, oh, why? And so you're going to be sick on mom's birthday. Dang it. Well. <sighs> We're not going to do anything, but. Happy birthday. Early birthday, <laughs> mom. Thanks, uh, Hannah. I guess we're going to be staying home tomorrow, huh? Dang it. Yeah, do I still have to help no. Abby with her sh everything? No, we'll take we'll take care of it, sweetie. E. You just rest and get over. We'll get you some medicine. Yeah. Oh, Hannah, Hannah. One that doesn't make me go, oh, hoy. Oh, hoy. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you can still joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So you don't want to contaminate everybody at work? Uh, no. That's actually very wise, Hannah. You're better off to take a day or two off and figure out what yeah. you have. Because you don't you don't want to make all your um, friends sick at work. Yeah, because I'll never know what I'll have. And when I start saying, I got enough, oh, boy! <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And you don't want your friends to start <laughs> dropping like flies either, do you? And then the bakery will be in trouble because there won't be anybody uh, to do anything yeah, because over there. Because they'll all be out sick and that would be uh, tragic. Yeah, that'll not be nice. And no, it'll, it's not nice. And Mrs. Graham might, well, Mrs. Graham might say, get out of here! She does say that, doesn't she, if people are sick. Yeah, like, uh, we need to call you out sick. <laughs> yeah. You know. And you would just keep going and going. I, I had yeah. a feeling about this earlier, and I'm glad that you came to a wise decision Yeah. and decided on your own that you just needed to take a day off. Yeah. Good for you, Hannah. Thanks. All right, sweetie. And ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Well, it doesn't affect your sense of humor, uh, does it? No. You av avocado-holic, you. <laughs> I know, right? I love avocados. I know you do. I have a craving for them, too, right now. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell Dad. Because <laughs> if he knew you were sick and had a craving for avocados, he'd uh. be running off to the store again. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we can do that for you later. All right. Yep. Thanks, Hannah. You're welcome. And I called it. You called it. Yeah. Okay. on the floor like a drum <laughs> he keeps coming up to kiss you in the face <laughs> Arnie he's over under Obed because he knows he knows he's going to get some food that way is he licking your feet Bethany oh no uh, 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 no sir oh, what's he doing he's surfing counter surfing Arnie get David Get him! 
Get him! Get him! David, play with me! I... <laughs> You know what he did with um, with Abby earlier, David? He's so sweet. You know what he did? He brought her a ball and just dropped it in her feet. This is, this place is like crazy town tonight. Honestly, crazy town. <laughs> Are you cracking up? <laughs> He's okay, it's a toy, honey. He's got his toy. Oh, he's growling. David, he's coming after you with his ball. He wants you to take it from him is what he wants. See, when he's growling like that, he wants you to play. <laughs> he says, come on, David, you're rough and tough. I'm big enough now, you can rough and tumble with me a little bit. <laughs> Oh, now he's going after Bethany. Oh, I love you, Bethany. I love you. 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 <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Puppy love. Puppy love. Bring me a toy. Here, here's one. Here's a dinosaur. Here's a dinosaur. Quick, by your foot. <laughs> No, oh, he's walking away now. He's going to go check Obed. <laughs> Hannah doesn't feel good. <laughs> What's the matter, Hannah? I'm not feeling it. You're not feeling it, sweetie? Not at all. I'm oh, sorry. my gosh. Hey, do you want another one of those oranges? Uh, no thanks. They're really hard to peel. I ended up, I, I ended up squirting one in my eye. Oh no, <laughs> Hannah. Ouch. Well, you do have to get some vitamin C in you. Does Daddy? hot tea have vitamin C or not? Oh, you want some hot tea? Sure. You want some raspberry zinger? Oh yeah. Sure. Okay, I'll make that for you. Thanks. You're welcome. After I just had a nice cream sandwich and a water. He looks like he's about he's done, done, huh? Yeah. We don't want to push it. Uh-oh, Bethany's calling him Arnold. Abby, you're way on the other zip code. Heading air again. You're sitting over there all by your lonesome there, Bethany. Oh, somebody's coming up from behind. Oh, yes, sir. He's not even anywhere near you. He's being very good, Abby. He is very good. Come here, bud. Well, he's winding down for the night, I think. Or maybe he's looking for a new toy. Ernie, do you need to go out again? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside again with Mommy? I'll take you out. You want me to take you out? Look at him walk right to the door when I say that. You're an amazing little puppy. All right, mommy, take you out. So, Hannah. Yes? What in the world just happened? Well, there was this person being so nosy. I, like, that just happened. We, so, here's what happened, guys. Hannah and I are out. It's my birthday. We're just out running around, just having fun together, doing nothing, really. <laughs> and um, we came to this parking lot, and... and for real, this just happened. Like, I pulled the van up into the parking lot, turned off my car, got out of my car, and this woman starts screaming at me. Oh. She says, she says, it's gotta be very hot in that van. It's gotta be 100 degrees. You need to get that child out of that van. And I said, I said, I haven't gone to the other side to open the door yet. I mean, I'm telling you, I just turned the engine off. Yeah, for real. So, and this was a foolish thing for me. So I just, I don't like, 
sometimes people are just too nosy yeah. for their own good. Mm -hmm. So I walked up to the car and I asked her how nosy she was. Uh, I said, just how nosy are you? And of course her friend is horrified, right? Yeah. And, and I just said, for your information, she said, well, what are you going to do with that kid? And I said, well, I plan to leave her in the back while I went in and went shopping, you know, because you know me, I have a little, little smart alecky streak to me. <laughs> and I don't appreciate people butting their nose in my business when it's unnecessary for them to do that. Yeah. I mean, guys, you know, if you don't like something, observe it for five minutes before you go jumping down somebody's throat. I honestly think that those girls have been drinking or something. Uh-oh. And, and and she says she says I thought I'd help you out. Oh. It's like <sighs> so that just happened. So we left the store. I can't even go in the store and think now. So Hannah and I are just gonna go have lunch. <laughs> oh my gosh! Some some people just need to get a life. I know. You right? know, and mind their own business sometimes. You know, if you think something's bad, just just watch the situation. And then what you can do, if, if, you, if you see that it's a bad situation, then say something. But give people a chance, for goodness sake. I mean, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. You know, very young girls who probably don't have anything to do in their time except harass other people that they're just sure are doing the wrong thing in life. And yeah. she's lucky she didn't end up on YouTube. Ooh. Oh, I was tempted. I wish I could think that fast sometimes. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. We are going to go have a nice lunch together. Yay. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So I'm just still trying to kind of come down off that. You know, when things like that happen to you, you get very, I don't know, I do anyway. I get really, like, I start shaking, and it's like this confrontation that is, um, just kind of comes out of the blue. The best birthday present ever for me would have been if I had been thinking and had my phone going... And I could have put her on YouTube. Oh. I would have loved that. But it, you guys, she started telling me to get the F out of here. And it was like, like, it was so surreal. I was like, what in the world? Like, I can't even believe this is happening to me. And, but I was just talking to Hannah. And I should bring this to you, all of your attention as well. That don't ever do that. You, I should have never approached that vehicle. I mean, there. The person was obviously very unstable, and she could just as easily have taken out a gun and shot me. I mean, thank God it didn't go that way today, but that was really a very foolish move on my part to approach her. Obviously, not in her right mind. You just you never know. You know whether it's in traffic or or anything. When you see something that's so out of the ordinary like that, and somebody just sort of snaps and comes at you in such a way you have to be very very careful so that's my I don't know words of wisdom for the day or whatever but you, you, you can't make this stuff up you just cannot make this stuff up sometimes and I'm just I wish I had my phone out <laughs> but you're hearing the story after the fact that's gonna have to suffice for today um, yeah that happened Is this too big? Oh, I would cut that in half. Or you can try it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just take a bite out of it, Hannah. I got it, thank you. Is that making you feel better? A little. Oh, good. Enjoy your lunch, honey. I love it. So, after we come out of the lunch restaurant, I was saying that we can just drive around for a little bit until buses. You just want to drive around? You don't want to, like, go anywhere? Uh, no. Just drive You want to just drive around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that because you're not feeling 100% great? Yeah, and plus I wanted to spend time with you. Aww. On your birthday. <laughs> Aww, I love that. So you just want to be, you want to be out of the house, yeah. but you don't really feel up to going in places or doing anything. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I guess I can drive around for a little while. We only have like 50 minutes before buses start. Yeah. But we can, we can drive around if you'd like. You don't want like Starbucks or anything like that? No, I'm too stuffed. Okay. Yeah. Who are you and what have you done to my daughter? Uh, 
Oh, I know you don't feel 100%. So we'll do that, okay? We'll just we'll just drive around. We'll just spend time together in the car. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> so why do people think that they have a right this day and age to insert themselves into other people's business? And, you know, you... Like, I always think, like, live and let live. Like, she has her right to her life. I have my right to my life. What made that woman in that parking lot think that she had the right to approach me and question me about the car I drive, what temperature it might be on the inside? Now, if she saw a car full of screaming kids, that'd be one thing. Or, you know, or even if, even if, I'll give her this, even if... I had gone into the store. She'd seen me go into the store and she knew somebody was in the back. She might have had something to say about that. I, of course, I would never do anything like that. But it was just automatically assumed that because I had this big hot vehicle and it's 90 degrees out today, that I'm automatically doing something that she sees as a violation to humanity. You know, I had a couple questions that I should have asked. It's like, it's like, how many kids have you raised? How, you know, have you raised any children? Because I'm sure the answer to that question was no. You know, and it just is like, what gives a person the right to insert themselves into someone else's life? I mean, I see it all the time. Guys, even in the comments, I'll see it where, you know, people might have, you know, opinions that don't match up with your opinions or a lifestyle that you don't necessarily agree with. Somebody might be intellectually disabled and you might be unaware of that and you just start calling them, you know, telling them that they're stupid or something like that. You know, they might say something that seems inappropriate or whatever and you don't stop to think that that person might have you know, a, a disability or that person, but that regardless of what the situation is, that person has a right to live their life independent of your opinion. And, you know, it sounds kind of like a, I call them, I call them, I call it vlanting, vlog ranting. And, um, and I don't do it very often, but it just really does give you pause because I don't know what it is this day and age that makes everybody think like they're everybody else's you know, private police officer or something. I think that if we just kind of kept to ourselves, yes, if you see something wrong, you're, you definitely want to speak of the best thing to do is to call the authorities if you really believe that a violation is being committed. But to just go up to an innocent person in a parking lot who happens to be driving a vehicle that you think is not, you know, something that you would drive, or if someone has, has adopted a dog that you don't necessarily think is the right fit, or, you know, or if their dog barks too much, or if... If, you know, if you think a person has too many kids or not enough kids or you think that they should have adopted or maybe they shouldn't, you know, maybe they shouldn't go through fertility treatments. Maybe they, you know, none of that is anybody's business except for the person who has to live that life. And regardless of what your beliefs are or your opinions are, we all, every one of us, every one of our friends in the comments, I don't agree with everything that everyone says. I don't agree with everyone's lifestyle, but I do believe that they have a right to live their life and be who they are and what and do what they want to do without everyone else butting in and trying to stop them from living their life. We see it all too frequently. And I, I think the best thing is to just stand back, keep your opinions to yourself. You're entitled to your opinion. But when it gets to the point where you start attacking other people for no reason at all, you know, maybe we should stop and think about some of this stuff. And, you know, you have a right to stand up for your, for yourself and your, your rights and whatever. And if someone is violating your rights, or, in, you know, encroaching on your boundaries, whether they be physical or, you know, or, or not, you know, your emotional boundaries, your physical boundaries, your psychological boundaries, your personal space boundaries, whatever it is, then you have a right to stand up against the person and, 
say something about it, but to to just go and start berating and belittling and, and just assuming that your position in life is the correct one, there's just something very wrong about that. And I, I think it would be good for all of us to just step back and understand and realize when we all do that and, and maybe just zip it just for a minute and keep those opinions to ourselves. You know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. And it's the way that sometimes it's the way things are worded. You know, the, the tone, whether it's in person or in a comment or whatever, just comes off as so superior sometimes to another person. And, you know, really until you've had to live that person's life, walk in their shoes, you know, play the the hand that they've been dealt which you never will have to do that then you know maybe a little empathy and understanding is in order you know rather than just jumping down people's throats but that's all I have to say about that you know one thing kind of led to another in my mind today and it really really kind of got me a little hot under the collar today with my friend in the parking lot but <laughs> it's funny how you think of all these things you could have said or done after the fact oh that would have that would have made a good video but you know it's probably just as well that we don't have that today <laughs> but um anyway you know I have that in me <laughs> we love you guys just think about it before you speak okay and we'll see it we'll see you next time bye